Believe it or not, we are one win away from the La Liga title. Not quite. Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel of me, Andrew, and this is the final episode of Builder FC Andorra. 63 episodes, amazing, thank you guys for all the support. It is the last day of the season, and we could still win the league. It's really unlikely, but we could still win the league. We are three points behind Barcelona. Uh, what could have been, what could have been. This was the game that did it. We lost 2-1 to Cadiz, and we were doing so well, like 4-0 Valladolid, 3-0 Osasuna, and it just didn't happen. Then spank Zaragoza, beat Almira, beat Sevilla. Now, we play Atletico Madrid, who are currently 7th, and Barcelona play 20th place Osasuna, who have won how many games? Six. There's a very good chance they don't win. But we have to be hopeful, don't we? We have to be hopeful. Maybe we can end the series with an unexpected league win and it'll be ridiculous. Uh, Lotaro needs one goal for his 30 for the season. That'd be quite nice. Covantillo's got 15. Fair play to him. 15 and 12 starts. Jonas, 13 and 10. Okay. So we'll play the game. We'll come back. We'll wrap it up. We'll show you the Andorra national team as well. And then we'll say our goodbyes. And I've definitely pressed record this time. I definitely didn't just check that. I definitely checked that. No real surprises to the team. Acosta and Martinez up front. Capape is the SS. Carlos Gabriel is in Mazala. Jonas set up an attack. Fanini Smith as the wing back because there's no one else fit. Amahodzic, Goddard and Markovic and Chernak in goals. We've got Vantillo's not fully fit. Van der Sees injured. Fasini's injured. Yeah. Let's hope for a, a nice victory to end the season. That Cadiz loss, man. We just didn't we just didn't play well at all. If we'd won that, would have been it would have been joint winter. Oh, fucking hell. Would have been top on goal difference. So anyone who thinks anyone who does these saves, kind of like saves and reloads, then that is the game where you would definitely, definitely reload it. Because no one's going to suspect you for beating Cadiz, are they? Let's get the scores up. Come on, Osasuna! I mean, we need to do our bit first, to be fair. Barcelona have scored. It's over. Thanks for watching, guys. Until the next series. We're not doing our part either. Chance for Atleti. Down the right-hand side. Uh, Altamar Vicente. There we go, stolen. Smith goes long to Acosta. What can he do? Oh, good tackle. On a yellow as well, big tackle. From Sandem Sandenberg. Fernandez goes long. We should mop that up all day long. Ama Hudzic does. Cernak. Gorard. I think I've definitely decided I'm going to keep this going offline because why the fuck not? Acosta must be He's at the post. What are you doing? As long as it's 1-0, no, Osasuna have a chance, he tells himself. Gorard, Jonas, Kipapi, Lataro, Jonas! 2-0. Oh! No. We're not doing our part either. Doesn't help, does it? Altamar Vicente looks a bit of a player, doesn't he? Ben Smith should get that, though. And I'm playing on attacking there. I was watching uh, Steve Hood's Red Star save. And we actually play a really similar... Fucking hell, oh God, where are you going? Let's go on a, on, a, on a crazy. Carlos Gabriel is blocked. He plays a very similar shape. A couple of different roles. Oh! And he was scoring some banging goals when I was watching his stream last night. And he's got the same problem I found. Like he's the best team in Serbia as Red Star. Teams sit in. He was just destroying them. So maybe being attacking and just taking that bit of risk. Kapapi with an amazing finish. Is the way to go and it's a shame that i've discovered that now and kind of take that chance now but it is what it is absolutely dominating atleti but it's all a little bit too little too late so what i've decided i'm going to do i'm going to save after this and 
I'll I can release it if he's want. If he's want me to release the the load, you can have a go. I'm gonna then do a five year sim once I'm back from holiday. Behind the curtain, I have done videos three weeks in advance. So as you watch this, I have just come back from holiday, which is fun. So I'm gonna do a five year sim. See how Andorra end up, but offline I'm gonna play it normally. And see what we can do. Lataro's in. Does he get his 30th possibly offside? Yeah, I'm going to keep playing this. And what I'll do is, if I get to a Champions League final, I will do a video. Uh, also said I got one back, but it's 3-1 Barcelona. Because I feel that if I get to the Champions League final, you guys deserve to see it happen. Rather than me just sat doing it on, doing it on my own. Doesn't sound right, does it? John asked, perfectly weighted pass and time pass to Lataro. 30th goal of the season for the Argentine. Acosta with the corner. Amahodzic has not been good enough from headers and corners. John asked, Acosta again. Markovic. It's better passing. It just seems crisper. Uh, the regrets now of not doing this before. All subs made, we'll get to see... Oh, so should have gone back, it's 3-2! Uh, we'll get to see Van Tio and Keiju Ruiz and Henry one last time. There's a ball into Keiju Ruiz! Oh, what a nice way to finish probably his Andorra career there, that would have been. Oh, so soon a 3-2. It's going to be too little too late, isn't it? If they get a third now, just to shut me up. Last chance, Vantillo's in, Vantillo makes it free. A nice way to end, Vantillo, I think, I think the way to go is to ditch Lataro, play Vantillo and go from there. It doesn't look like there was a fourth goal for Osasuna. We have beaten the Atletico Madrid 3 now. A lovely performance to end the series. We have finished second and I have so many regrets now. There we have it, Barcelona, crowned the champions of the Liga, 90 points, we had 87, I think that's still pretty high. So, 20th party of the season, we got 90 points, it was the highest to not win the league, and Barca got 97. Then we won it with 90, only 3 points more than we got this season, second with 82 last season, Barca won it with 87, so 87 points is a La Liga Winning, oh, I can have more goals, fewer conceded. Let's look at the end of season review. Now, stop getting this wrong, people. These ratings are not for the player's season. They're for what the board think of the transfer when you do it. It's all it's based on, not what they've done. Stop getting this wrong. So B for the league, B for the Champions League, D for the Copa del Rey, C for the Supercopa. Biggest win. 7-0, well, that was the game we played the weird formation. Match to remember, definitely the 2-0 win over Arsenal, which you can see in the videos if you look back a couple of episodes ago. And goal of the season goes to Jonas. You should be able to click on that there to see the goal, shouldn't you? So we go, sponship up, uh, broadcast revenue slightly down, a bit more corporate, prize money, and a little less match day. 7 million merchandise sales, Lotaro, Vanders, Vanders, he already was on since January and barely played a game. Best 11, apart from Ruiz, probably, yeah. So, fans play the season, Amahodzic, young play the season, Acosta, 23, young, okay. Sign of the season, Lotaro, disagree there. Go the season, Jonas, top scorer, Lotaro, most assists, Carlos Gabriel, he's done well, I liked him. Most player of the matches, Lotaro, highest average rating, pass completed, highest transfer fee, and most received. Did Camillo actually play for Man United? Uh, 29 Premier League games, and he's done fuck all. <laughs> We've broken the record attendance. Wait, did we have our new stadium? Did they finish the... How did I not notice that? Fucking sitting blethering about the end of the series, and I, I, I missed it. There was nothing before in the inbox. Oh, look, at, look at all those stands. Uh, how do we see it? What's the best way to see it? Four big stands, ladies and gentlemen. We go director. Yeah. Big stands each side. 24,000 capacity now. Not the best angles to see it. As you go back to T. How did I not notice this on TV? Look at all those stands. 
It looks beautiful, just in time for the end of the series. New highest gate receipts. Uh, Jeremy Frimpong won player of the year. Amahodzic finished third. It's not a bad signing, is it? Matara Martinez finished just behind. He's actually just behind. Eight goals behind. Sernak wins goalkeeper of the year. Perfect. Etienne Green second. Um, we came third. Valid lead, who did amazing. Came, I think they came third. Valid lead came fourth and they're in the Champions League. Yep, you could have manager of the year. That's fine. And we've got Martinez in the Isaks on the wing. Okay. So let's have a look at FC Andorra. 2023, they were 179th. They went down to 191st. They did really well with it. Uh, and then they've gone up to 164th. Let's look at the squad. So Jose Carlos Morale came for us now at Bristol City. He's all right. He's all right. Miguel Santos was also part of ours. Good physicals, decent, like good level. Lee Romero, who just left us in the last summer. Marcos Villar, I was, I was a, sad that I didn't get anything out of him. Just, he's not like, maybe he could have been a Mazala. He's right for to do, yeah. Busto was ours. Montero was ours. Guillermo Gutierrez, again, he's supposed to look decent, just not. Not next level. Bruno Fernandes was our, our like first new gen. Went to Leeds. Bounced around, hasn't he? World Cup qualifiers, 6-6-6, six, 5th, six, six, fifth, fifth, done nothing. Euros qualifiers, 52nd, 52nd, 41st. Nations League. Oh, they got 2022, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 1st in Group 1. Yes, Andorra, four wins out of six against Malta Gibraltar. And Estonia. Get in, lads. Currently in the World Cup qualifiers. Uh, got a draw against Kosovo. This was a Nations League 4 0 against Estonia. Vila, Santos, Bruno Fernandez. Couple of 1 0s, Bruno Fernandez. Uh, see, I think I could, I could have done something with this team. It's a shame that it never came to me. Why was he not in the squad? He's the best player by far. I'm not sure why he's not in the Andorra squad. But it's safe to say that they've not done anything, have they? If we put on... Yeah, Morel Santos, Suarez, we had Suarez as well. Again, decent, not amazing. VR. Put Moreno in there, you've got... Mauro is a guy we looked at a couple of times. You look at the teams they're playing at. Villar is at Atletico Madrid and has played, played 16... Well, he's done okay. He's done okay. He's just not at our level now, is he? I think I could have done something really good with this team. So there we have it, we took over 2021, 21, 22 is where we started. Second in the third tier. Fifth in La Liga Smart Bank. Won the La Liga Smart Bank. 17, when we survived on the final day of the season. Then somehow we came fifth, sixth, tenth, stagnated a little bit. Fourth, second, first, second, second this season. We won, like, trophies-wise, we've not won a lot. One La Liga, one La Liga 2, one third tier, and a Supercopa. So, highest league position, obviously, is first. We, most points of the season, 93, that was our first season. We got 90 and won the league. Uh, most wins, 29, that was our first season. Fewest league defeats, three, our first season. <laughs> Fewest league draws, was four. Most league goals, score, 101. That was in the league, that was when we won the title. Brilliant. We've just set our new highest attendance and new gate receipts. Average attendance 15k is amazing. Lowest 259 for a cup game. We were there for that. Biggest win 9 0. Biggest defeat we weren't there. Same with the 5 all. Highest paid Van der See is 81 million euros. We got 116 million euros for Camille. Most league goal scorer is John Karakaburu. Of course he is. 42 goals in a season. Emil Garcia is the still most league appearances. That's a shame we couldn't break that. Most league goals, 35. Karakaburu. Danny Mora gets our highest average rating for his first. No one else topped Danny Mora's 7.83. Quite like that. Youngest player, Jose Carlos Moral. Oldest player, Simon Tari. Remember the Simon Tari days? Fastest goal to Menzikov. Uh, most goals in a player match, Brenner. Forgot about that in, in the second division. 
Uh, Danny Moore got 27 assists in the season. I think that was the short, the, the corners as well. Most clean sheets, Michael Cernak, 25, amazing. Danny Moore, 12 player of the match. I think that's skewed by the, the corner routines. Youngest goal scorer, Bruno Fernandes mentioned him. Oldest goal scorer, Sully Montari. Uh, nine matches, one in a row. 23 without losing. That was at the start. Most matches by winning, that's not us. Goal scorers wise, most overall goals by point of season. 21 Henry, 21 Kamenskov, 19 Gilbert, 9 was Valdo Carranza. That was a dark days, wasn't it? 12 Gilbert, then we got the Karakabu years, 21 33, 25 42. In Kapapi, Ocosta, Martinez. Like, no one, did we win the league with Kapapi getting 18 goals? Jesus. And let's finish up looking at my profile, my pro. Jordi Fernandez, the Andorra born manager. His four star reputation. That's up at 75%. I don't know who Barajuan is. 554 games, 300 wins, 56%. Percent win percentage, a thousand one hundred and three goals. Attributes wise, seventeen for attacking, technical, discipline, motivation twenty. Four hundred three, four thousand three hundred thirty five days, nineteen awards, earned six point five million. One hundred and seven players bought for a total of four hundred forty six million. Uh, players sold eighty three for four hundred eighty. We made a profit. 4.3 million paid to agents, 55 players released. Not even a lot of, not a lot of awards either, is it? Won the league, manager of the year, manager of the year, manager of the year. Three managers in a row. Four? Like, it's quite sad how short that is, isn't it really? But it is what it is. So there we have it. Like, if you guys would like this save file, let me know. Let me know what we can, we can, up, we can upload that if you want it. Uh, I'll do the five year sim. Just so we can do a video and see how they go on. But I will continue this offline myself as well, I think, and see how we go on. If I get to a Champions League final, I will come back and we will do it on camera. Guys, thank you so much for all the support on the FC Andorra's journey. It's been amazing. I've had a lot of fun. Uh, we'll be back with something similar for FM23. We've got one more little save idea for FM22. A little free season challenge. So until then... For me, Andrew, Jolly Fernandez, FC Andorra. Thank you guys so much for watching. Bye for now.